Hello, my name is Roberta Wilhelm. I'm the Executive Director of Girls Inc. of Omaha, and I'd like to welcome you to a little slice of Girl Start, our literacy program for girls ages 5 through 8, pre-K through 3rd grade. Of all of the programs we do at Girls Inc., I believe that Girl Start is the most important. It is a program that girls do every day, K through three, they spend two, three, four hours a day on literacy and literacy-based activities. It's a program that helps girls learn to like to read, to become more enthusiastic readers, and when they are more enthusiastic, they tend to become better readers. It's a structured program. Uh, the frequency and dosage for this program is very high and intentional. There's time for free reading every day at Girls Inc. The girls can choose books from our libraries or in our classrooms. We especially encourage books like this Amelia Bloomer book that feature female protagonists, both fiction and nonfiction. A major component of Girls Start are the read aloud activities that our facilitators uh, present to the girls, sometimes guest readers with planned breaks to ensure comprehension and vocabulary development for the girls and also to invite their participation. There are lots of opportunities for the girls to write at Girls Inc. Uh, this girl has written I Can Wrap Presents on her drawing. We use writing prompts, journaling. Girls write alternative endings to stories that they have read, um, sometimes before they hear the real ending. They have an opportunity to write thank you notes to the many uh, agencies and individuals that donate things to Girls Inc. So there are lots of opportunities to write. We use centers to uh, support our literacy activities. The girls might do a craft or a sentence building activity like this one where the king found your spider. I know you are worried about what happened to your spider. Or my dad loves me. I love that one too. Uh, they might use uh, cards for sequencing, do letter stamping, free writing, flashcards for alphabet, phonics, and sight words. They might print on a, on a white erase board or in shaving cream, clay, or some other messy thing that's more fun than a pencil. And we have listening centers where girls can listen to books on tape and follow along and more sight word games. A sample activity would be uh, having a read aloud of the book When I Grow Up to talk about careers and empowerment. And then the girls created their very own business cards. So here you can see a policewoman, a cupcake baker, and a gardener. With books that are donated from volunteers and local community organizations, we're able to host book fairs several times a year. Girls are able to choose anywhere from 2 to 30 books at these book fairs and bring print materials home with them. Another sample activity is girls reading books by Eric Carle and then creating their own tissue paper collages. Girls love reading when it's a part of reader's theater or doing something non-traditional, like karaoke. If you give the girls a microphone, they will attempt to read anything. The girls have written raps during rhyme time. We've hosted sight word carnivals and sight word Olympics. Even during their free time, the girls frequently choose reading and writing activities. The girls love it when their school teachers from the Omaha Public Schools come to our classrooms and read to them. The girls feel like a star for the day, and the teachers get to share some of their favorite classroom books with our facilitators. As always, parents are a very big part of what we do at Girls, Inc. They're invited to a special orientation to learn about the importance of literacy, to hear about our expectations for attendance, and to learn what they can expect from us in return. We have sharings throughout the year where they're able to come and see what their girls have been working on, uh, observe read-alouds, participate in raffles and craft activities, and usually the moms are the last one to leave the craft table. In addition to literacy programming, the girls also have access to daily transportation, meals, snacks, counseling services, homework help, computer labs, physical activity, enrichment opportunities in the community, and of course, caring, trusted adults. That's Girl Start in a nutshell.